What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about my vehicle bag. And this is just a bag of general things that I keep in my vehicle with me. It pretty much lives there, unless I'm going to be staying in some kind of sketchy area, then I just bring the bag in with me. Um, and this is a, you can see, a 511, and this is their patrol bag. And this is a really good bag. It's uh, very affordable. When I found it on Amazon, I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. So um, it's a very nice bag. So let's kind of go through. Now, keep in mind, this bag is constantly evolving. Um, during the winter time in this uh, front flap, I will have extra gloves and a beanie cap, but it's summertime, so I don't have anything in there at the moment. Um, so it is what it is, empty. But let's look at the sides here. Let's see what I have in this side pocket. I have all of my electronic cables, my phone charger cables. Wall plugins for my electronics, more cables, and more plugins. So I don't like uh, having dead things that I can't plug my communications in. And that's all I have right now. And it's a pretty big pocket too, real generous. So you can put quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, on the side here, I have a large Nalgene bottle, and I carry in my car um, water bottles, uh, cases of water bottles. So there's never any, if I need to, I just dump a couple of those into this big bottle and hike on out with it. I also have a pair of um, ballistic polarized sunglasses. I have, what is this here, Oops. general mail that I shoved in there, so we'll just kind of overlook that. <laughs> so, right. On the main, pal I mean, um, uh, pouch here, we have uh, a little Velcro field so you can put your patches on it. This is my favorite one right here, so uh, let's open this puppy up. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is a always evolving. This isn't everything that I'm going to need. I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, you need this and you need that. Yeah, I know. Whatever. This isn't the only bag I have. I have a gold bag. I have a, a separate bag that I carry um, things in. I've got a whole case of water. So this is just one part of the whole. So don't jump on me because I don't have eight days worth of food and whatever preconceived notion you have of what I should be carrying. All right, with that rant out of the way. <laughs> All right. I have a uh, little marky marker here. I, mean, I have some uh, nitrile gloves here for in case I have some kind of injury. I have some wound packing gauze. Some more wound packing gauze, as you can see here. I have a survival blanket. And this pouch. Let me let me move the camera angle a little bit. You can see better. Alright. This video is not gonna be the most professional, but it is what it is. And then I have a compression bandage here in this pouch. So There's a little bit of redundancy that you're going to see in this kit. So that's not going to be, you know, someone, oh, you got too much, whatever. All right, let's adjust it here. I have a loose cat tourniquet. You never know. I have another compression gauze bandage here. I keep my blowout kit, my IFAC. I have a separate video on this that goes over all the contents of that, but this main IFAC or bleed kit is in my vehicle bag. And then I have a 
first aid kit, just boo-boo bandages, ice packs, a lot of gauze, um, aspirin, stuff like that in here. All right, and that's that pouch. On this pouch, I have a box of nine millimeter ammo, a separate bag that I can use for stuffing something in. I haven't got anything in it yet. Ear protection. I have a camping stove in here. So just in case, a nice little small camping stove in case I need to some heat if I get stuck on the side of the road if I need to if I'm in the park somewhere doing some dog training or something like that and I want to heat up some meals for a quick uh, uh, rehydration of a um, freeze dried food that's perfect for it and of course I have a fuel canister here This bad boy up. Have some real ear pro, electronic ear pro. In case for some reason I meet up with a buddy while I'm out and they want to go to the range. I don't have any, I don't have to worry about using the cheap ones. I have a rechargeable uh, voice or recording device here. You never know, you get pulled over by the popo. You want to record everything or you want to leave, take notes for yourself. And it is, uh, has a memory card in there, a micro SD card. Perfect little thing. It was like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. I have a mag full of 223 ammo. Just in case, you never know. And I have a more a knife these things are fantastic for the price a very high quality knife all right we're gonna pull this little bag out this is just a bag of incidentals i haven't really found a purpose or what i actually want in this bag yet so kind of stuck some things in there that are just general stuff like I have a lighter, I have a uh, spare um, Glock 43X mag, some uh, nasal uh, clearing thing for the allergy season. And y'all know what these are from the COVID days. And then I have a, another mag of 223. Cause you never know. And then I have in this little zipper pouch, I have some chapstick because you don't want to have dry flaky lips. And I have some uh, drink mixes, uh, different types some teas, some juice color, probiotics, whatever. And they're just for adding some kind of taste to the water. And then in here, I have a multi-tool, this is a Gerber, very nice tool, forget the dog here, my dog, whenever I'm going into the somewhere and she has a stay in the car, she likes to lay right on top of this bag, and of course there's always some kind of dog hair on something, so, and then I have some uh, sunblock, so that is what I have currently in my vehicle bag let's see what else do i have in here i have a battery a chargeable for my phones always try to keep this charged up and ready for use in case uh for one some other reason i need some kind of power source power source more cords which should be in that one side pocket and then this is something i picked up it's really cool. It doesn't require anything but the sun. Just solar panels, 21 watts. And you have in here your 
things to plug in your USB cords to hook up your electronics for charging. Just sit, unfold this, sit it on top of your hood, and you're good to go. All right, and then of course I have, I guess I got some funk breath, toothpaste, and toothbrush. Never know, you get funky. Got some deodorant in here. More sunscreen. Some wipes for your bunghole. And then I've got a pack of these dude wipes to keep myself fresh. For, <laughs> for whatever reason. Hygiene is the epitome of it all. So that, guys, is my contents of my vehicle bag. And, um... Like I said, it's constantly evolving. There's no, nothing in here that's, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some things, and I'm sure I've got too many of other things. So it is what it is. I've got my EDC bag at, that I carry with me everywhere I go. They also have the EDC that I carry on my body everywhere I go. I have stuff that I have pre-positioned in my trunk of my car. So this is not everything that I have on me. I have lots of other things, but this is just the one way to carry it, one type of uh, system, I guess you could say. And this goes in my car and stays in my car permanently. So unless I'm in a bad area and I'm going in somewhere, I'll just take the bag with me. So, all right, guys, uh, any questions, comments, suggestions, uh, leave them down below like and subscribe and if you like these kind of videos look definitely let me know um or is this you guys just want this to be about guns and that's it all right hope you have a great day peace out